What's going on, friends? I'm Clay, and you know what time it is. Upstreet Online is back this week to answer a big question. What is the GOAT? You, you know, the greatest of all time. But the question really is, what is the GOAT? Jesus actually said that it's love, that love is the greatest of all time. And Jesus wants us to be showing love to everyone in our lives. Yeah, even the ones that are really difficult to love. Yeah, we're actually gonna go there. So stick around and let's talk about it together after we check in with Caleb and That Show. Boom, 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 welcome to That Show with that guy, Caleb Bo. Ah, that was so dumb. <laughs> Welcome y'all to another episode of That Show. You already know what the show was. Anyway, this week I'm still home and here's a little backstory. Um, so when I moved to Georgia, from Pennsylvania to Georgia, cause it's from Pennsylvania. That's where we live. My parents got a new house, right? Totally cool, kind of weird, totally cool. Come home, they got a house with a pool. We've never, ever, had a pool at our house. And I'm like, mom and dad, why, 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 why do you wait for all the kids to move out to get a house with a pool? I wanna swim in the pool. My parents are like, well, you can swim in the pool. I'm like, I'm never here during the summer. They're like, well, you can still swim in the pool. And that got me thinking. <laughs> why don't we do a polar plunge? I'll be honest, I don't like cold water. Um, I barely drink ice water. Let's do a polar plunge. So I'm gonna be honest, y'all. I don't even like uh, cold showers. So I thought to um, prepare, I could take a cold shower. Let's see how long I can last uh, in here. I'm guessing at least like 30 seconds easy. You know what I'm saying? Something slight, something slight. Are you serious? This is torture. And Go. <laughs> okay, stop the clock. Okay, that was at least like five minutes. This is gonna be easy. This is gonna be easy. All right, y'all. Let's uh, let's check the temperature of the water. Shot. There's 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 dogs, but let's check the temperature of the water. Uh, you guys could probably see that, but that's actually ice. So it's just so low that it's uh, it's just low. If you wanna, how oh, no. Um, so that's that's uh, that's what we're dealing with. All right, y'all. Um, I have my family in the back. They're getting ready to take care of me. Um, let's just do this. Okay, so. So this is what Jesus felt like when he walked on water. So uh, we have a nice layer of ice. Um, let's move that out of the way. <laughs> this actually isn't bad. This is uh, this is how I fall asleep at night. Let's uh, go a little bit deeper, shall we? No! 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 <laughs> Broke a little more ice. <laughs> that, you know? Let's just do a little dip, shall we? <laughs> uh, thanks for uh, thanks for tuning into this week of uh, that show. <laughs> I'll see you guys on the next one. I uh, what do I? Oh, uh, stay saucy, love on somebody this week, and I'll see you on the next one. Peace. <laughs>
All right, so if we wanna love just like Jesus, we're gonna have to learn how to give the goat, you know, love to everyone in our lives, even the people that might just be a little bit hard to love. And we're going to need some extra brain power for this week, so uh, I called in some of the smartest friends that I know and I asked them to help me help, well, to help all of us. So Jesus said the greatest thing we can do for other people is to show them love. (laughs) Now there are some people in our life who are easy to love, right? This is my good friend Joshua. Joshua, who's easy to love in your life? Well, my dad. Mm, Your dad and your mom. Now you mentioned your dad first. Because he helps me in basketball. Okay, can your mom hoop? Mm. I had this one specific teacher. (laughs) In fifth grade, her name is Miss Haywood. Shout out, Miss Haywood! Yeah. Other people that are easy to love? Um, my friends. Dad, my mom, Joshua, my friends, grandparents, because we don't see them as often. It's like when you see um, people more, you you get more mad at them. Your friends? Yeah. Well, it's just like you're always having so much fun with them, and you don't even argue with them or anything. My stuffed animals <laughs> and the guardians of the galaxy. Oh, wow. Yeah, so there are a lot of people in our lives who are just easy to love. I mean, even if they make a mistake or if they make us mad, I mean, we still love them, right? It it just doesn't take a lot of work for us to love them. But now let's talk about some other people. I, I mean, sometimes there are people in our lives who, honestly, they're just harder to love. And maybe they make it harder for us to show love to them. Can you think of anybody? in your life that you've been like, eh, he's kind of he's kind of hard to love? One of my friends. At school? Uh, yes. He was just like, a, sometimes a little bit mean to me, okay. sometimes. What would he do? Would he, would he, he, he would just joke around, but it didn't it did hurt my feelings. Oh, so he kind of joked too hard sometimes? Yeah. yeah. And then he would say sorry. And I was like, okay. Did the sorry make up for it? No, not really. What about when you have people maybe who, they just always cheat to try to win? That, yeah. That would be hard to love. Hard to love? Yeah. I'm like, I'm gonna remember that. (laughs) Like I'm over here taking notes? Yeah. Okay. I had one person, but we got over it. They wouldn't listen Mm. when I needed them. These two guys, they um, came to our house and they stole this um, doll short and- The shirt off a doll? (laughs) And they also took the pants. (laughs) They took the pants too? There's a kid at school who was sometimes really hard to love because he would like jump on my back and like just is trying to have fun. Mm-hmm. But like when I'm like trying to say stop in a kind way, mm-hmm. he still won't get off. When he's hard to love, did you ever think about just stealing his shirt or his pants or something? <laughs> <laughs> I know. Yeah, so there are people in our lives who are hard to love. It's just not easy for us. They make us mad, they hurt our feelings. They don't play nice or fair. They say unkind things. Other kids in your life who do those things every so often, they might just be the people in our lives that are hardest to love for sure. But Jesus said, he said that love is the most important thing that we can do, right? I mean, he wants us to show love to others all the time. And and, and check this out. Here's another thing that Jesus said about love. He said, love your enemies. Do good to those who hate you. Bless those who curse you. Pray for those who mistreat you. Yeah, it sounds like Jesus knows that enemies can be hard to love. What about a movie? You like Star Wars, right, mm-hmm. Jake? Give us an example of somebody that's an enemy in Star Wars. Like Kylo Ren or Darth Vader. Yeah, yeah. What makes them enemies? They're trying to take over the galaxy. Mm. So maybe that's the definition of an enemy. Someone who's trying to take over the galaxy. Sayla, when you think about the word enemy, what comes to mind? Others. <laughs> that was too quick. Well, here's an example. This happened the other day. Mom, let's all have a moment of silence for this chicken, and then right- I'm so sorry, but why are you having a moment of silence for the chicken? Let's have a moment of silence for this chicken that had to die for our lovely supper. And then right then, someone says, Mom, I want ranch. And I totally understand that, but when you need ranch, you need ranch. True. 
Did you ever have anybody who, let's say, went into the kitchen and saw that there was one cookie left and you were kind of hoping to get the cookie, but then they ate the last cookie? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but Jesus is saying here that we need to love others even if they don't love us. We need to love the people who are hard to love. We need to love those who hurt us, e even when they say mean things to us. And then Jesus said that we need to pray for them. Yeah, Jesus wants us to pray for the people who hurt us because they need God too, just like we do. Let's say there's uh, in your neighborhood some kids that are playing after school, mm -hmm. all right? And they're doing that thing where, you know, you pick to see who's gonna be on whose team. Like, this is gonna be annoying because this person never picks me. What's something you could do to show that person some love? Like, ask them, why don't you pick me? And then you can talk it out. Talk it out. No fish needed. <laughs> let's go. Do not need to fight. No, we don't need to fight. So let's say there's this uh, party that, a birthday party that one of the kids in your class had. And on Monday, everybody's talking about the party and it kind of dawns on you. Oh my goodness, I don't think I was invited to the party. Like, this is kind of rude. What is one thing you could do to show some love to that person that had the party? Um, give him a cake or some cupcakes and just make their special day special. Wow. Hey, listen, London, if I am ever hard for you to love, buy me some cupcakes, man. <laughs> like, that would be amazing. <laughs> so what's something that you could do that would be kind, that would show some love to that girl, even though she didn't invite you? You could, like, bring her, like, a card. Uh-huh. And then, like, say happy birthday even though like you weren't even invited to an actual birthday party. Yeah, this kid invited everybody in the class except me. Maybe like you can ask him why didn't you invite me? That we're friends, that, that, that we're cool, man. What is something nice that you could do for them that would be a way to show her some love? Invite her to your house? That's really nice. You're like, hey, you didn't invite me, but I'm not gonna hold that against you. I'm gonna do something kind and I'm gonna invite you to my house. Or assume the best. Wow, tell me more about that. Like, possibly she invited me, but we couldn't do it. Yeah, the invitation got lost in the mail. Um, let's say you're on the basketball team, and you got this kid mm -hmm. who's a point guard, and dribbling down the court or whatever, and every time he dribbles down the court, he just shoots, and never passes the ball. What's something after the game that you could do to show that person some love? They have a concession buy them some Cheetos. Get to know them. <laughs> you've ever tried to love someone that's hard to love, just buy them some Cheetos. Yeah, Cheetos. <laughs> Let's say you've got a kid on your basketball team. Every time he gets the ball, he shoots. He never passes the ball. You, you would say that kid's not really easy to love, right? Mm -hmm. What's something you could do to show that kid some love? Maybe you could just like pat him on the back and say, like, good game or something. Yeah. Anything else you could say? It was fun watching you play. <laughs> yeah. You got it. I, I mean, when we think about it, we do know lots of ways that we can be loving and kind to people who are just hard to love. And no one's saying it's easy. I mean, we might actually need the help from our parents or even some from other people that we trust to help us know what to do. But we don't get a pass. I mean, even when we don't feel like loving others, Jesus knows that showing love to everyone, even when it's hard, is the goat. So, so here's what you can do this week. Right now, I would love for you to think of someone who's hard to love. Maybe they're at your school or in your neighborhood, or maybe even they're in your very own house. <laughs> would you just pick one person and then choose to show them some love this week? It doesn't have to be big. I mean, just one thing you can do that shows them, even though it's hard, that you're going to be kind. Maybe even ask your parents for some help if you're stumped on what you can actually do. And we can always ask God for help too. In fact, let's do that now. Heavenly Father, thank you for always loving us no matter what. Thank you for giving us the greatest example in Jesus of what it looks like to love others, even when they don't treat us well, even when it feels like it's hard. And so I pray that you would give us the wisdom to know how to love others, that you would give us the bravery to be able to do it even when it's difficult to do. 
And we thank you again for your awesome, awesome love. Help us to spread it out to other people. Amen. Love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul and with all your mind. This is the first and greatest commandment. And the second is like it. Love your neighbor as yourself. Matthew 22, 37 through 39. Love the Lord your God. Your heart, your soul, and your mind. It's the first command of its kind. It's the greatest of all time. The second is not like the first. Love's the greatest part of this verse. Love your neighbor as yourself. This love's the go. Love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul and with all your mind. This is the first and greatest commandment. And the second is like it. Love your neighbor as yourself. Matthew 22, 37 through 39. Jesus did I'm gonna love all my neighbors Love all my friends